My name is Shannon and I work as a registered nurse in the emergency room. A uh, typical day uh, in the ER, we don't have many typical days, which is kind of exciting about the emergency room specifically. I come into work, we do 12 hour shifts. I come in at around nine and if I have patients in my specific area I'm taking care of, I'll get report from other nurses, kind of see what we've done. People come in with various symptoms and um, things going on, um, obviously not feeling well, and depending on how sick they are is how we, we take care of them in kind of a first, um, first come, first serve, but if they're really sick, we don't really get that chance to even assess them. They'll come in from an ambulance and be um, sometimes not breathing, sometimes broken limbs. We don't have a lot of time. Things move really fast, so that will certainly bump somebody who's puking in the waiting room, but we do our very best to take the best care we can um, in the time we have with these patients. You never know what you're going to get in the door, so it's pretty exciting in that respect. A lot of hands-on duties. If you're someone who is into a little excitement, you never know what you're going to get next. You like to be very hands-on and um, we do a lot of blood work, IVs, dressings, you see wounds, you see broken bones, get to work with a doctor who's always with you um, versus on the floors, which I've done as well, but um, we have that luxury of having a physician there right away to give us orders so we can really take care of the patients as quickly and as efficiently as we can. And um, like I said, as far as typical, there really isn't much uh, that is ever the same. We do have a few people we see and we might recognize, but you never know what you're gonna get. Um, you have people come in with something as, as menial or trivial to them as a fever. They feel bad and we do our best to get them well. And then, like I said, you'll have somebody who's come in from a horrible, tragic um, vehicle accident or house fire, or um, you have to be willing to think on your feet pretty quick and that's kind of what I like the best about it. Um, like I said, we do 12-hour shifts, which is really nice. It's a long day, on your feet a lot. I do 36 hours, which is our full-time work week, so can't beat three days on and four days off. It's a pretty nice schedule. Um, stress level can be very demanding as far as um, the kind of patients we take care of. We love our patients. We love to make the most we can in their day. That's kind of one of the best things I do like about it. Um, they're here because they they don't feel well and if you can make a small difference it's important to make that part of their day um, do the best you can to help improve it but it can be stressful because sometimes you take that home with you you try not to you try to separate your work from home but when you really love what you're doing I think it's sometimes difficult um, to manage those emotions that go with those high stress situations like code situations I discussed before where people come from in horrible accidents tra trauma patients we call them or um, even a little two-year-old with a fever breaks your heart so you have to be kind of tough and be able to separate that but overall um, we help each other as a team, especially in the ER. We work as a unit, we work together. There's a lot of us sometimes working with one patient, depending on how critically ill they are, and you lean on each other for that support during those stressful situations. So you always have someone and have a lot of support and people who know what you're going through, and that helps, that helps get you through. The job requirements, um, education is obviously very important. You do have to pass a national board exam to become a registered nurse. We're fortunate that there are two year programs. There's also the associate degree programs as well as bachelor's programs. Wonderful um, short track um, if you kind of want to get out on the workforce and plan to go back to school after you've earned your licensure as let's say a registered nurse. There are many wonderful um, facets now that you can obtain a higher level, whether it's your bachelor's degree, go on to your master's degree once you've obtained your registered nursing license, which is through passing the NCLEX exam. Um, my area specifically, like working in the ER, we have a few other um, licenses and certifications that are not always required depending on where you work. Um, different trauma centers require, for instance, a TNCC, which is a Trauma Nursing Core Curriculum. It's a fantastic class. It really helps to teach you. You become certified at the end of successfully passing this to be um, a true trauma nurse and learn um, the ABCs of that. There's also specific, um, for any nursing, a lot of nursing, whether it's med surge, ER, um, critical care, ICU type nurses, there's a specific 
um, specialty certification you can get in the emergency nurse um, certification would be one of those um, skills obviously people skills is a, is a must you have to really love people and love what you're doing to um, be able to ever work as a nurse whether your patients are anesthetized or wide awake you um, definitely have to truly um, be able to communicate well it's a number one um, building that trust communication is extremely important and um, just kind of a general compassionate we're all kind of caretakers I think inside so that certainly um, is a plus if you have a willingness to jump in and want to help out and certainly will get you far in this in this field um, I kind of touched on it before some of the best parts you really get a chance, as cheesy as it might sound, it's a very um, rewarding, gratifying feeling in that small part of somebody's day, they're feeling their worst, you can improve that situation and truly make them feel better. It might sound selfish, but it really does feel good to do some good to people who come to you at their very worst in some cases. Um, some of the, on that note too, some of the worst parts of the job, there isn't a lot of, um, gratitude for what you do. You do it because you truly love what you're doing and want to make them better. But sometimes you feel there's a lot of, um, for people who like to feel very appreciated, your employers, your coworkers, they do your be their best to help you feel that way. But from your patients, <laughs> you can have them spitting at you. You can have them cussing at you. They're in pain. Nothing is happening fast enough. Sometimes, unfortunately, that's a reality. Um, on the more graphic side of things, for the ER specifically, if body fluids are not your thing, we see blood, we see pretty much anything that can be spewing from the human body, we have seen at some point. And some people um, do very well with that kind of scenario. Some people freeze in their tracks. And uh, I mean, I've been puked on, I've been spit on, I've been, and it kind of, you roll with the, the punches and it goes with the territory. Um, but nine times out of 10, we, we do our best to contain and things, we, we're very safe and protecting ourselves against these things, but um, it happens. So if you're squeamish, I would say this is probably not the job for you, not the, um, the area anyway. That's the beauty of nursing. There's so many different things to do, but um, I still think the best parts always out have outweighed the worst parts of it for me and my coworkers, so I feel really fortunate in that respect. But um, yeah, that's kind of nitty gritty. This is, this is the department where you'll, you'll see, the, see the worst of people in many ways, personality and as well as their physical well-being. So you have to be prepared that you see death, you see people who are young that you feel you can't wrap your head around why things have happened, but you have to support each other and get through it, but that's a very real part of this job. My final advice um, to anyone who is interested in pursuing a career as a registered nurse in the ER, I think it's an area that can be very rewarding if you take into consideration the realities of it, like I talked about before, long hours, you're on your feet, sometimes you don't get lunch, um, sometimes you don't pee for six hours, but um, there are a lot of great ways to get an idea if it's something you'd be interested. Possibly a guidance counselor, even your school nurse might give you an idea of some of the programs we can, you can go and um, volunteer with local programs or clinics. Um, certainly talk to other nurses, interviewing other nurses who've been in the field a long time. If you're lucky enough to have one in your neighborhood who um, you can chat with and get their real life experiences. Um, they are the internet's a great resource if it's a valid resource, and I think that um, TV is not real. So those those medical shows, that's that's not how it really is at all. It's kind of humorous to those who work in the field. So it's not a glamorous job, but I think, like I mentioned before as well, um, nursing is so specifically something I think you truly have to love and be interested in to succeed. I think with anything you do, you're going to be better at it if you really like it and if you love it you're just going to be that much more awesome at what you're doing and it's certainly not like getting somebody's you know fast food order wrong this is life and people's parents and brothers and sisters and it's something to be taken very seriously to be very responsibly um, considered because you make a big difference and sometimes if you're lucky it's a very positive difference you can actually see 
before they're sent home or discharged to the floor or whatever. So I definitely recommend checking it out and seeing if volunteering is a great way. Some of the nursing programs, I know you get to do rotations um, when you're in your clinicals. They actually take you to the hospital and you get to work in different areas alongside some of the experienced nurses on the floor, in the OR, in the ER. Ask them, pull them aside and ask what their advice would be. Um, they're a really great resource and I encourage anyone to utilize that because um, we all have different personalities and maybe do this for different reasons, but ultimately um, experience is worth its weight of gold in nursing as well. So I think it'd be interesting to talk to different nurses and different who've been out of school a year or five years or 10 years.